Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. Today I'm going to show you a landscape print I did uh, earlier today uh, of an area called Thorsmörk. It's a mountain area in the southern part of the Icelandic highlands, uh, surrounded by glaciers. Uh, the, the famous Eyjafjallajökull glacier that erupted 2010 is just south of the area and uh, and to the, to the east is a glacier called Myrdalsjökull and there is a, another volcano called Katla uh, that's a very powerful volcano that erupted over 100, 100 years ago uh, with great devastation for the area and, and ash clouds were uh, all around the northern hemisphere so uh, it was uh, very bad for the area and, and the and the globe, but in this area there are uh, quite a number of glacier rivers coming from the glaciers down into the valleys, and you can go there by jeep or a truck in the summertime. And uh, when there is warm weather and sunny days, the glacier uh, glacier melts and and the rivers can quite quickly become impossible and people have got into trouble trying to cross them on, on smaller vehicles. Uh, it is uh, maybe two and a half hour drive from Reykjavik so it's very common for Icelandic people that have jeeps to go there in the summertime and, uh, and there are several huts and, and areas where you can use your tents uh, to sleep in the area. There is a <coughs> also um, quite good number of uh, hiking paths in the area and, and one of the most famous hiking paths in Iceland, Laugavegur, uh, is, is started in this area that goes up to Landmannalaugar, another uh, place I did a landscape uh, video about earlier. Uh, that's a few days hike and very popular both with tourists and Icelanders also. But I want to show you this landscape, so I'm gonna switch cameras. So this here is, is Eyjafjallajökull glacier, and here is the Myrdalsjökull glacier, the other glacier. It goes uh, way beyond this po point, uh, and the Eyjafjallajökull goes uh, in this direction. Uh, quite far. Uh, but this is the, the Thorsmörk area here and here's an area called Bausar that's a really popular area to go and the blue lines are, are rivers that go from the, the glaciers uh, down the, the valleys and into this area and in this area it's very flat uh, sand and mud area where the river is flowing all over the place and uh, the riverbed is constantly changing so uh, it can be quite difficult to find uh, a good spot to cross the rivers uh, especially this one here and um, this one here is uh, can be quite difficult to cross and there are smaller rivers along the route into this area that uh, are easier to cross uh, but then there are a lot of hiking paths up on those mountains here and, and here up these mountains up to the uh, Finnvörðuhals area, that's this area here and you can walk uh, maybe for 20-25 hours over this ridge here and down the other side to the coast and that's a very popular uh, route to walk and then you can spend a whole day walking around in this area and, and staying in the huts that are located here and, and here and also uh, in this area here so there are like three main locations where they have huts uh, where you can sleep in the huts or, or sleep in tents uh, then the route to the Laugavegur area goes up uh, in this direction here uh, and actually it goes somewhere here I think and that goes up to Landmannalaugar. So this is the the paint job I did for this area. There is a uh, quite 
good vegetation in the area uh, near the rivers and in the mountains there are snow and glaciers on top so it's a very photo friendly area to take landscape photos and very very beautiful um, in the summertime the, the sun uh, is setting in this direction here so if you're in this area you can have the sunset shining on the mountains and getting very beautiful landscape photos if you're somewhere here in this area and, and watching over the area with your camera so this is this is a model uh, it took uh, approximately 22 hours printing in in 0 0.15 millimeter layer height uh, using rigid ink PLA uh, that's uh, filament I've been using for for landscape prints and, uh, for quite some time and very happy with that filament I have a time lapse of the, the print and the paint job I did I had to change filaments mid print because I was running out of the grey filament I started out with and I just paused the print in Octoprint and, and used the change filament command on the Prusa menu to change filament and, and then carried on printing and that uh, worked quite well, I didn't have any issues with that process. This was my video on this area, uh, Thorsmark and, and uh, Bowser. Uh, it's a general area is called Thorsmark. Uh, I did a, a paint job. Uh, it was uh, maybe half an hour to do the painting. Um, it's quite. I'm getting uh, used to painting <laughs> with my colors and getting better at it, I guess. So it takes less time also. No, then in the beginning I was maybe one hour pr printing, uh, painting uh, the first models. So for now this will be it and I thank you for watching and see you in the next one.